I'm using the throttle cable of a Kawasaki H2750 and this part down here is bigger than this part on the carburetor and this doesn't fit. That's too big. Because of this reason my colleague made me a few of these adapters that turn out pretty nice and they fit the throttle cable of the Kawasaki.
my seat arrived today. Uh, it looks a little bit different than I wanted it, but now it's. I think it's fine. It's covered in a Porsche Napa leather, and I think the stitching and the overall design, I think it's okay how it turns out. Now I'm gonna install the seat and then I'm gonna first start the triple. finally running. The problem was that my squish gap was way too high. It was at 1.5, 1.6 millimeters instead. It was definitely the problem. So to solve the problem, I simply removed all of the head gaskets and now it runs fine. Which means that I have to remove all of the cylinders and turning it down to uh, have the same squish gap that I have now, but with the head gasket. The next problem is that my clutch got very loose and that's because this uh, system, how it operates, have very high friction. To get rid of that I need to install a bearing like this and my own style billet cover like that. Which means I have to uh, remove the first engine and uh, modify the system. And the last thing is I have no brakes on this uh, bike. And I have to engineer a, free, a front brake caliper bracket for my setup. I've already started this with this part and the rest of it, the bracket that goes on here and the brake caliper, that's still in development, but I think, uh, and I have to get rid of the grease and maybe put some sealer in the exhaust to prevent this from happening. So I think in maybe one or two or three weeks the bike is finally finished and I have to wait until my brake cables arrive.